What's up my CNC brother or sister? I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I got a little surprise for you today. Getting my brand new CNC machine, I'm getting a Phantom. You've been hearing about this, but I'm here now. Right here is my SCV 4x4 Phantom. The back table and and we got nick here's helping me out here hey, hey, hey. Uh, nick's got a youtube channel by the way you want to follow him what's the name of your channel nick stated woods coach stated woods okay so let's talk about well first of all let's just take a look at this bad boy that's steve he owns the, he owns the joint he's the one that's designed all his machines out so that is i still can't get the whole thing in there okay so we got a four foot stroke here what's 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 my uh z stroke 8.5 8, 8. inches and and so we got four foot back and forth got the rollers on it nick get hold of that pendant there so mm -hmm. so this is not pc based it's got its own control and a pendant right now and uh so you write your code and you import your code on the flash drive here and the usb or you can hook directly probably right you can hook directly to it right? yeah you'll just use the usb yeah 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 okay and uh so let's wrap up this thing around a little bit so i haven't even driven it yet so he's doing the driving so we're wrapping in what what is this running at right now 400 yeah about 400 yeah it looks a little faster than 400. oh sweet bring the spindle on bring that spindle on there we go Oh, so much better than, uh, than a... Sounds better than a router. Yeah, it sounds much better than a router. All right, cool, sweet. And then, uh, of course, got the box. And so the back units aren't, they're not here. You got them where the, where the vacuums at? Say again? The vacuums? Uh, they're actually in the back. They oh, okay. pass up underneath. Okay. This is a manifold that controls right, each right. one. Right, right. So I got four. And they're labeled to where the grids are. Okay, so there's four zones here. That's correct. And uh, two, two foot, about two foot four. zones. And then, uh, so he's got some other machines over there too, but this is the one that uh, we're going to be shooting some videos on from now on and uh, learning about this machine quite a bit. I've got a lot of people asking about this, been waiting for it, so here it is. Um, and Steve, you got some other other equipment over here. So we got the eight footer over there, four by eight as well, right? That is, that's a, a four by eight S, and they can always go on Phantom CNC systems to look at all of these machines. Um, the demand has been really strong on the four by four, so we have a alternate line that's just going to be running four by fours, and then uh, we have another line that runs all the other machinery, and you'll be pretty familiar with it by the time you leave. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now there's also plates that go down here too. Uh, there's what? There's also plates, guards that go down here, so okay. it's not really open. Yeah. However, if a customer wanted to do that, it's plenty of structural rigidity to do that. So you do not have to run that guard on the front. Let's say you wanted to slide a vacuum pump underneath it. Yeah. Perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, so you got just to just here now. Steve took me over to his warehouse to see some of the other equipment that he's got, but I don't have that. But he's got a plasma cutter over here too, which is another machine I want to be getting into. So you good? This is a four by eight here router. This is a four by eight S. So this is sort of where our our I won't say our baseline starts, but this is our four by eight uh, industrial light industrial fully welded machine that can go into a cabinet shop. It can go into anywhere where somebody's going to need maximum rigidity and not a lot of maintenance. Okay. Okay. That's, and it does have rollers on it also. So when we were talking before, you said something about uh, the tiling uh, that, that you had a, you were coming up with a jig to pull the board? That's correct. Yeah, eventually we'll use a blowback system so that we can reverse the valve to actually pick boards up off of the table and be able to slide it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so this one's got an 11-inch stroke, right? 11 half? That's correct, okay. yeah. It's it's technically 11.9, but you're not going to get that because your tooling stick out. Yeah. But machining a 4 to 5-inch thick block is pretty easy on that unit. And that's because we put the extended gantries. We no longer have any low gantry machines and in the in this market 200 millimeters is what's normally referred to as a standard gantry in my opinion that's low 
Uh, so we've moved everything to 300. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty big difference, yeah, especially that's when you're working. And we can, uh, this machine can sustain anywhere from five to 600 inches a minute pretty easily. Uh, it's not designed for, to run that all the time. Most people want to run this machine around 300 inches, 350, and I, I think he's uh, actually run one in his shop before. Uh, again, this is stepper based versus servo based, but we see very little speed differences in real life. Tooling manufacturers will always tell you, and especially you selling tooling, they will always tell you these, these tools will run 7, 800 inches a minute. There are very few people out there, uh, it, with the exception right. of manufacturing facilities, that are me doing that. You're especially familiar with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I sell router bits. So. Um, well, uh, you got this in a five by ten as well. We right? do. We okay, have this in a five I had somebody by 10. asking about that just yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the surface slabs. What we've tried to do, for the most part, is this is a machine that almost, and this can sound terrible, but from growing up in a night shop and running a shop on the side, I just hate to say this, but you know, the twenty-five, thirty thousand dollar price point is just somewhere where when you start getting larger than that companies small businesses have problems with that and this is a machine that falls well underneath those numbers and it gives somebody the ability to run and look the frills are nice but at the end of the day folks want to go to a machine and want it to run they just want it to run right. day to day they don't want to have to recalibrate they don't want to have to worry about maintenance all the time and i won't say we're maintenance free but we're pretty low maintenance um, this is where it starts at. This has put a lot of a lot of businesses on the map. Cool, cool. Yeah, when I was first looking for to upgrade my uh, from the bench top my CNC router, and I was shopping around with some of the different uh, units, and I caught one of Phantom, uh, relatively new on the market uh, in the marketplace, yeah. and uh, already had heard a little bit of a buzz about Phantom. And when I got on the horn with Steve, we got to talking, and pretty much right away, kind of. Kind of hit it off, because uh, he's got that same entrepreneurial drive that I've got, and so we both understand that it's about the end user. It's not a, it's not about give me more, give me as many sales as I can grab. It's about what can be done for you, and that's what I really appreciated about him. So let's talk about this thing a little bit, the plasma. So uh, this is a five by ten plasma. Right now, it's all we sell in the plasma range, and the reason being is. We're not, uh, in this machine, this is a, a true industrial machine. This is not a machine that's a toy that you're going to get in boxes and build in, over a weekend. And to be honest with you, most of your sheet goods are going to come in 4, 8, to 5, 10. And this machine is designed for those uh, industrial fabrication shops that are wanting to get going and they can't spend $40,000 on a big format machine. Um, we, uh, this unit has automatic torch height control already built in. It has a breakaway torch system so that if uh, a piece of metal happens to move, strike the head, that we can uh, signal an e-stop. So, uh, so for the layman, what do you mean by torch? Meaning that as, as we cut, our metal likes to move around and we have to maintain a distance between the torch and between our uh, metal. And an interesting fact about these, just to throw it in there, these are actually reverse polarity machines, and a lot of people don't realize that, but a plasma, when it first starts out, it actually comes out of the tip and starts the plasma stream up here. But as soon as it starts cutting, it starts bringing electricity back up through the ground, and it actually comes through the table and into the oh, torch. Okay. And in order to get a good uh, cut and to be accurate, we have to maintain the height of that torch at all times. Well, as we interject heat into our metal, our metal likes to move, absolutely. And we do that through a couple of tricks, but what we normally do is we monitor the voltage that it's using in order to keep the arc struck and as the metal comes towards the head our voltage will drop and that will signal my head to pull itself up and so you'll constantly see this head floating that is something that they charge extra with other companies and that just irritates the hell out of me because 
how are you going to run one in an industrial environment and make money off it if you don't have that? Right. And that's one of those deals where you call and they give you a price and you say, okay, what's it really cost? Well, do you want torch height control? Well, yeah, you know what? I would really like a, a patty of meat on my damn McDonald's sandwich, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Something know? that kind of belongs. Right. Like, make it run why did yeah, you yeah, just yeah, do yeah. that to me in the first place? So what we did was we came up with a system that we can put your plasma on it, most of them, especially uh, it, especially self-starting units. Uh, to be honest with you, and this is going to sound sacrilegious maybe to some people, we do a lot with harbor freight machines, and I'm going to tell you, the Titanium 45 and the, ti the new Titanium 65 already have the CPC sports built into them, so we've got a fast connect system you can get into a 65 amp system now this is not just selling my machine i i'm sort of giving them props because they did what i think is right they build a 65 amp machine that can be cnc controlled with a wire and look 65 amp is more than when you enough. say with a wire you're just talking edm or no it's a cdc it's a it's what's called a cpc it means that we can control as a matter of fact here's one right here uh if you want to look at it this unit can be controlled uh, by a port right here. Oh, okay. And we don't have to do anything to the inside of these machines. They come directly from Harbor Freight, ready to go to our control system. That's too smart. That I mean, is, that, that was is. a knockout punch. Right. Because until now, and, and we are an OEM for Hypertherm, and, and I'm certain they're going to listen, there is a place for companies like Hypertherm. They do make, in my opinion, the premium plasma source in the industry. The Hyperthon is a, is a machine? Hypertherm is a brand, okay. and, and they're competing with titanium, but they're really not. They, they are a heavy industrial machine. They're fantastic machines. However, price point, once again, a 65 amp Hypertherm and a 65 amp titanium, for the most part, with my type of customers, never see the difference, but there's a $5,000 price difference. Right. Okay. That's the difference. That's okay. where it's at. And we concentrate more on how can we get businesses up and running at a good price point and then keep them going. Right. Okay. So, so, so basically, if you didn't understand everything he said, he's doing everything possible to keep the costs at a, a, at a real level as opposed right. to having really high markups. And so he, you found an off-the-shelf item here that, that works perfectly. You adapted your equipment uh, to this and, and that adapted to what you wanted to build into right. that equipment. So a lot of people have got these already. Most of them, you don't even need this. You just buy the platform right there yep. and you put their power pack with it. Okay. If you need a turnkey solution, then we build it for you. If you need a 45, you get a 45. If you need 65, now, I'm biased right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. For the cost, the 65 is the way to go because it comes with everything. Now, what does 65 there. mean? 65 amps. So, to be honest that's with you. That's the cutting power of the machine. That's the cutting power. Okay. And just to give some, some and somebody's going to kill me in the comments for this. As a general rule, half-inch plate steel 65 will cut it without thinking about it. Okay. That's just a general rule. Um, another thing to think about these machines that we try to get across to customers, before you invest in these, ask about the running costs. What are we going to do about consumables? How easy is it to make a mistake with this machine and blow that consumable out? Right, by consumables would be the, the, the cutter head. The cutting tips the, and the things cutting, like that. Yeah. And you're going to go through them, don't get me wrong. But make sure that you buy a system which is less prone to do that. And there are a lot of systems out there, you make a mistake, you strike that torch on that metal, you just blew that tip. Uh, in some systems, and I won't call no names, but you're looking at 25 to 35 bucks now for a cartridge. I'm sorry, that's just, I can't see how that's going to help my customers. So we use a system that probably is four to five bucks. Mm -hmm. Make a mistake, whoops, four or five bucks, keep on going. Okay. All right. So back to the routers then. So these units, the the S4, that's that's meant that's like a light duty industrial, but it's it's capable of twenty four seven. Right? The S series. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. All right, cool. Well I am gonna be taking some time to learn about the equipment here because I gonna be shooting a lot of content on these things now and uh, progress from there.
but I'm very excited to be picking up my, my, my next level machine finally. So I will talk to you next time. Happy CNC. Hit the stop button.